Hi, welcome back to Art Unboxed. It's me, Sarah, again, and I want to share with you today my love of the humble Brussels sprout. These little guys, I said they're humble because they've had a very bad rap over many years, but they're actually kind of having a moment in the sun these past few years, and if you don't know how to make them absolutely delicious, I want to share that with you. I really love this recipe because it's very simple. We've got our Brussels sprouts. I use a mixture of butter and olive oil and a little salt. You can use other fats if you want. If you have some bacon fat, that's really tasty too. You could use canola, um, really anything you've got on hand. Sesame oil, if you wanna swing in a little bit um, Asian flavored. So all I'm doing now is I'm getting through this pesky, these pesky um, cleaning process. I cut off the bottom and then I use the same hand to pull off the outside leaves. Um, when I first learned this recipe I was working in a restaurant and I'd never had really delicious Brussels sprouts before. Um, and one of my jobs, very glamorous, was to clean and chop about four quarts of Brussels sprouts a day. So it took a long time. And the restaurant owner said, do you understand what all the big fuss is about? Have you ever tried these? And I said, no. And he said, oh my God, I could eat them all day. It's like popcorn. So I wanna share that excitement with you guys. I think Brussels sprouts are really gorgeous. They're a member of the brassicas family. And that includes uh, broccoli, kale, cabbage, um, cauliflower. And they've got these beautiful kind of tiny cabbage interiors. So I've done all the grunt work, cut up all these beautiful Brussels sprouts. You can see their beautiful whirl pattern inside. Um, and there's a lot of little pockets in there to soak up all this delicious butter. We've got a lump of butter in a heavy bottom pan. Um, I love a cast iron. It's very cheap and it's pretty much indestructible. You just need to make sure you never wash it with soap. Just scrub it with a metal scrubber, very hot water, and you heat it up. Um, so I put a nice lump of butter in here. It's starting to melt and bubble. I'm also going to put some olive oil. And you actually want to do a fair job with the oil. You don't want to be skimpy because that's going to keep um, that's going to keep our our little Brussels friends from burning. The oil actually creates an insulation barrier and it helps distribute the heat more evenly so that um, you get this nice golden brown instead of a, a burn. So we're going to be caramelizing these Brussels sprouts today. And that basically means that you're going to take the sugars in the vegetables and almost to the point of burning. I turn my pan onto medium high heat and that's because I really want a difference in texture. Um, the outside will get very well cooked and the inside will still say kind of firm, al dente, just like pasta. They're starting to soak up that nice oil. I'm gonna give them a shake. If you don't love getting Brussels sprouts all over your floor, you can also use a spoon, but you know, that's just me. What's one less thing to wash? I'm also gonna be sprinkling some salt on them. The higher you sprinkle your salt from, if you've ever watched a cooking show, um, the more evenly it distributes all over. It's like falling snow, so you want to remember that. Um, I shook the Brussels sprouts around to coat them all evenly in oil, and you can start seeing the outside leaves start to kind of flicker as the steam shoots up and they'll start to wiggle. And soon we'll know that they're getting ready because you'll see that they're blistering and that's actually the moisture inside the leaf turning into steam and it'll cause a bubble inside the leaf. I 
As you can see, we've been cooking it for a few minutes now. You can really hear that moisture evaporating and turning into steam, hissing of the oil on the pan. You can see we've got some beautiful brown caramely spots. And this is because the starch in the vegetable is actually breaking down, converting to sugar, and then getting burnt, almost burnt, in a very tasty way. Um, and that's what makes this really rich, nutty, popcorny smell. It's really delicious. Um, I use this recipe for all of my brassicas friends. I use it for broccoli, I use it for cauliflower, I use it for greens. Um, it's just really versatile and everyone who tries it just loves it, even my kids. Maybe they're strange, but it's worth a shot. So I've been cooking these for about 15 minutes now, and I really wanted to zoom in and make sure you could see um, how they look when they're done. They've got these beautiful golden brown spots, mostly just brown. Um, this one's kind of burnt. It's still delicious. Um, we've got all kinds of levels of doneness here. Some of them are, are very done. Some of them are a little less done. Um, that's how I like it. <laughs> you should have browning on both sides. Um, let me just stick my asbestos fingers in here. Um, but we've got this beautiful roasty quality that you don't need to turn on your oven. Um, I really love to serve this with things like mac and cheese, roast chicken, stew on top, anything like that. Um, it's just a very fall flavor to me, all these brassicuses. I hope you will try it. I hope you will become a convert. Um, I hope you will win someone else's heart over to Brussels sprouts. This week's haiku prompt is to write a haiku about texture. I talked a lot about textures, the softness, the firmness, the difference in between of the levels of, of how cooked they are. Um, also the texture, the pattern inside, you know, looking at this Brussels sprout, looking at these beautiful curvy lines that the Brussels sprouts made. So anything that you think of when you think of texture, um, give it a try. <laughs> Thank you for joining me yet again on Art Unboxed, um, where we encourage you to eat your art. We'll see you next time.